Hi and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at two of my favorite guitars under $200. We have the Jackson JS22 and the Kramer Beretta Special. Now these are very different guitars. They are both great rock guitars. And I'm going to tell you right up front, I do have a little bias towards this one. I've always loved these guitars, but I'll try and keep that out of this. Okay, the Jackson, we have a poplar body and is an arch top. Whereas on the Kramer, we have a more standard body with an arm contour. It's mahogany. Now for the back, we have recessed plates on the Jackson. And on the Kramer, we have a recessed control cavity, but not a recessed trim cover. Now both come with six saddle trim lows. However, the Kramer is six point, six screw. And on the Jackson, you have a two screws. The Jackson also features a full size block or a large block where the Kramer does not. Now as far as the pickups go, we have two ceramic humbuckers on the Jackson and a single Alnico on the um, Kramer. Now when you get the Kramer from the factory, there's an angled bezel for the pickup. I have sanded this one down flat. It doesn't really impact anything, it's personal preference, but just be aware there is a difference. Now on the Jackson we have a three-way switch, a single volume, and a single tone. And on the Kramer, we have just a single volume. Now, the volume on the Kramer is almost like an on-off. It has very little roll-off, and that can be fixed by just clipping off, I believe it was a capacitor or resistor on the back of the pot, but it does function. It's just a very different style from what's on the Jackson. Now, we have a maple neck on the Kramer with a maple fretboard with 22 medium jumbo frets and a 12-inch radius. Whereas on the Jackson, we have 24 jumbo frets on an amaranth fretboard, and it's a 12 to 16 inch compound radius. Both come with plastic nuts and standard sealed tuners. I have changed the tuners on the Kramer, but they were just like the Jackson's, except they were silver. Both hold tune really well out of the box. The nut wasn't binding on either one. Both nuts can be easily changed out. Now we have a, they both are listed as the thinner neck this is the speed neck from the Jackson and has a bound fretboard and this was listed as a slim C if I remember correctly it's a very fast neck I really like it so is the Jackson there is it almost feels raw on the back of the Jackson there is a slight finish there whereas there's a little more of a finish on the Kramer it's not a heavy gloss by any stretch but there is some sort of finish there it has not impacted playability whatsoever and I've played this guitar a lot um, they do sound very different. Of course the Jackson is more versatile because of the two pickups. But as far as in the bridge, both are great rock guitars. Now, every Kramer I've held is heavier than the Jackson's. The Jackson's all seem about a pound lighter. I'm imagining that's the mahogany body. I will say the neck actually feels a little more solid or dense on the Kramer. I really do like the Kramer necks. I've been very impressed with everyone I've touched, but the ones that come on the bread, especially in particular, they're just really nice necks. Now, as far as price range, this is $199 currently, and these run anywhere from $179.99 to $219.99, depending on where you buy them, the color, and the fretboard, because these have, I believe it's an Indi Indian Laurel option, but they do have an option that is not maple for the Kramer. The Jackson comes in, I believe, four other colors. It might only be three. Whereas with the Kramer, I believe it's six colors. It might be five. But you have a great color variety on both of them. And again, with the Kramer, you do get the option of um, two different fretboard types. However, when, it, at, when you compare them side by side for versatility, this Jackson, it takes it. For playability, I've got to say they're even. For feeling solid, just overall construction feel, the Kramer takes it. Now again, this is just by a little bit in each case. These are very comparable guitars quality-wise. Some of it's going to come down to personal preference. I played Strats for years, so I find this neck extremely comfortable. But I've also played Ibanez's for a long time and some Jackson, so this neck's fine for me too. This is just something I'm a little more familiar with. And again, I've loved these guitars since the 80s. So I have a little personal bias here, but as far as overall construction, playability, I think they're both great options. Um, the versatility is the only thing I can really say about this. Between 22 frets and not having a second pickup, for a lot of players that's going to be 
pretty much an immediate nope. However, as someone who I mainly just use a bridge pickup, I love this guitar. And I definitely recommend trying this one out. Um, maybe for a second guitar if you need a uh, two pickups or single coils or something like that for your main guitar. I still recommend trying this out if you're looking for a good rock guitar. They are just great. Okay, well I think that really covers the two guitars. I will say one more thing. Look at the body thickness. The Kramer is thicker. That also will add to the weight of it. They're both 25 and a half inch scale. So two great guitars. Probably my two favorite guitars under $200. I really do prefer both of these to everything else I've seen. They're just great guitars. These are these are really my two favorites, I believe. And I'll be doing a, a bigger breakdown of the guitars in the category, a little kind of a five, six brand comparison. However, for right now, I do prefer both of these to the Mitchells, to the Fireflies, and some other guitars in this price range. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this kind of content, please click like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to stay notified. Leave me some comments and suggestions. I would love to hear from you. And until next time, keep playing.